Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Today's Words for Life, number 43, and I quote, Enjoying a sense of superiority by bad-mouthing others shows that you are a pitiful person. Uh, words for Life, number 43, Enjoying a sense of superiority by bad-mouthing others shows that you are a pitiful person. Thank you, Master Okawa, Lord God. This sentence, uh, this truth, this teaching was one of the teachings that really helped me change my mind uh, or my habit of bad-mouthing others or saying something a little bad about others. Uh, you see, the reason why I said this helped me change my life is because we don't, unless, until I was told this sentence or came across this teaching, I did not know that I was actually bad-mouthing others out of a sense of superiority and enjoying myself by making fun of others, I feel that I'm smarter than them. I didn't know that there was a subconscious uh, mindset behind it. Uh, so, and you know, spirit, this, for my experience, we do this if you actually have an inferiority complex. Very interesting, right? So superiority complex and inferiority complex is um, a flip side of a coin. It's actually the same emotions coming out in a different way at a different time when talking to a different person. So, yeah, this has really been an eye-opening uh, sentence for me. Enjoying a sense of superiority by bad-mouthing others. Yeah, um, and I think that we can observe this in other people too. Uh, people who are highly academic, people who are intellectual, they have a good educational background. Um, but at the same time, if they aren't on the track of true success that they they expected themselves to be on, ha they have this sense of like a little bit of failure, right? But then they want to brag about how smart they are. And uh, it comes out in a way sometimes, unless it's controlled, sometimes it comes out in a way of just, just bad-mouthing others, saying saying bad, bad stuff about other people. But uh, why does it make you a pitiful person? Mm, ultimately, it's because you yourself never become happy by doing so. Um, Master has once taught us that if you are bad-mouthing others, that's the proof of an unhappy person. If you are bad-mouthing others, that is the proof that you are an unhappy person. This was another truth that has really changed my life. Uh, if you want to know if you're a happy person or not, check your speech. If you have a tendency to overly criticize other people um, in a personal way or bad-mouthing others, that's the proof that subconsciously you're unhappy. All right, so those are my thoughts. What did you think? Please leave it in the comment section. Thank you for listening and see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.